hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all you wonderful people out there. I'm Hans with FSN, continuing on our Reindeer Ranch journey. Today we're starting our visual with the website. As you can see, it is now early fall. We did get our field planted that we left off with last time. And I just wanted to take you over to the site because we will be doing both the in-game and meta aspects in this journey. And so I wanted to let you know a couple things that have transpired between the last episode and now. Uh, the first thing is that I have talked to a commodity broker about offloading our oats next year. Uh, they've sent over an agreement to us, which we're going to be agreeing to. And then we also have requested a loan, uh, a meta loan for 350000 uh, and my intent with this is is to use that small amount of funding to start up meta operations and start generating some cash that way. So we're going to do both of those things, and then we're going to pop over to the farm and see what needs to be done today. So uh, first things first, it looks like on my screen I can see that I do have a loan application response. So let's see what that is. Okay, and it looks like we have been approved for 350000 The interest per day is 0.6%. Um, it'll be $2,800 in payments per day. Uh, they'll go downwards as the principal decreases. If we accept, we'll receive the funds immediately. Okay, so I think... I think we're going to do that. We need to remember we're going to have $2,800 in liability a day. Um, so we want to keep a few days worth of payments in there. Um, but I think what we're going to try to do is pick up a couple of semis and hire a couple of drivers and get these puppies on the road. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, as you can see, our loan has been approved and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. Go to global market. First, we're going to see if there's any used ones available. They're not often available, but they might be. Okay, oh, it looks like there are a couple available. Let's take a look here. Not much. Now, there is this Peterbilt 379 for 100000 which would save us a little bit of money. So, I think, I think we will pick this up. Uh, I'm not, I'm not personally a 379 fan myself, <clears throat> but you know, in the in the early days, beggars can't be choosers. Um, so we're gonna take this off somebody's hands and uh, plop a driver in it. We can always sell it down the road. So we're gonna pick that one up. The others. Um, it just looks like these are overpriced. I'm not sure why anybody would pay $200,000 for uh, one when we can get a new one for 150000 So I think these owners are sadly going to be getting their vehicles back when their listings expire. But we will take this one for hundred k in San Diego. And then we're going to pick up one new one, I guess. And, um, you know, I like, I like the Volvos. I think they're a nice one, so I think we're going to go with those. And, um, where do we want to put it? Uh, we got one truck in the U.S., so we probably should put this one somewhere else. Let's maybe do, um, let's try Russia. I think we'll do Russia. Russia's a big country. There's lots of international hubs in and out. Uh, I think that makes sense. We'll start right in the capital, Moscow. Okay, good to go there. And that leaves us with 100,000 meta. Not bad. Uh, we do need to hire a couple of drivers. So there's our couple of trucks. We'll want to get a couple of drivers here. Okay, there we go. Head back to our trucks. We'll drop these guys in. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Now, uh, let's go ahead and pop into these screens. All right, here we go. And we're going to need some easy jobs because, unfortunately, we're, we don't have any skills for certifications right now. This uh, Volgograd run doesn't seem too bad. Although, this is a shorter run. Um... Hmm. Decisions, decisions, right? This 5k run doesn't seem too bad either. It's a longer trip. Wrong button there. Um. Oh, goodness. Um. Let's just take the easy short route for now. Okay, so we got the job. We're going to attach the load now. All right, so that load will be there in five hours. So uh, probably off video, I will get this truck back on the road with a longer route for overnight. Um, and then uh, maybe on the next episode, we'll, we'll have it ready to send out again. We'll have to see. Um, but that'll pick up half of today's uh, loan payment. So we got another... 1700 uh, to cover today's loan payment that's going to come out at midnight. So we want to try to get the other truck on the road, get at least 1700 and that way we know it, we're at least covering our loan payment for the day, right? We're still going to be negative because of fuel expenses, but if we get at least 1700 we're covering the loan payment. So maybe we'll find one that pays more than 1700 and, and cover our other expenses for the day to break even. We've got a convenient next truck buck button here. Uh, and we'll click that, and that'll take us to our next waiting truck. Aha, so here's our Peterbilt. And nicely, they actually were willing to get uh, sell a truck that they had 100% tires on and full fuel on. So that was very nice of the seller to do. A lot of times you'll pick them up, and they've got some used tires, or the fuel tank's almost empty, because um, people are getting rid of them. So this was nice of somebody to do. Um, and we're going to take good care of this truck and uh, get, get it back on the road, give it its purpose again. So it looks like there's a couple loads available we could do. There's a real short run, under 200 kilometers, only 700 bucks. Now there is a really long trip for 7K. Um, let's just take this mid-range trip, though, for 3,200. I think we'll do that. Um, and as you see, this is actually for Walmart. <laughs> um, and um, what happens is, is these loads that have company icons, you actually earn reputation with the company. Uh, and so over time, you may get better jobs with them or maybe a recurring contract, uh, which is part of a future feature that's coming in the near future here. So always good to take ones for companies when you can, uh, just for that extra benefit. So we're going to take this one. Uh, it probably is going to take a bit of time to, to haul this puppy, but uh, we got time, right? We're not, we're not in a rush. This will um, cover our loan payment for an entire day and then some, um, so uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Send it on its way. So yeah, it's going to take a little over a day uh, to get there, um, but uh, yeah, now we got both of our trucks on the road. Um, we've made our initial meta investment. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to do. Uh, 100000 is a bit more money than I'd like in the slush fund. Um, you know, I, I think maybe twenty five, thirty thousand 30000 um, for fuel expenses and uh, tires and our loan payments. So what can we do with 100000 or maybe 50000 and I'm not sure there's a lot we can do. Hmm. We could do a little resource exchange trading. Let's see. Let's see what the resource exchange is looking like. Um, and let's maybe focus in Russia since we already have a truck there. Let's just do that. Or you know. I feel like some of the big boys might be playing in Russia. Maybe we should pick a little more out-of-the-way country, but maybe close to Russia. What about maybe Mongolia?
Let's just pop in Mongolia. Okay, so let's see here. Um, we're looking for uh, what I call a quick flip, which means product that we can buy right away and then sell right away in the same city, right? That's our first goal. Um, and so we're just going to see if there's any quick flipping available, right? So, um, and if there is, we'll create a warehouse because that is free to create the warehouse. Um, okay, so corn is selling for 587 and selling for, or they're buying at 575. So, okay, so that's no good. Um, canola selling at 781, buying at 668. That's no good. Almost there on the goat milk, but not quite. No on grapes. No on hemp. Uh, da, 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 da. No on the olives. Might not find a quick flip in Olan Bator. Ulan Bator? Ulan Bator? I'm probably slaughtering that one too. Um, the hunt continues here. 210, 180, 102, 96. No. 519. 410, no. And, oh, 181 to 1. Nope, that one won't work either. Okay, so. Looks like no goodies right now. So let's try a different approach here. Um, I guess we'll try the next city just to, just to see. You never know. Um. 120 to 96, 107 to... Okay, here, hold it. We might have something here. There's a buy order for 113, and we can buy for 107. That's only a $5 difference, though, uh, per 1,000 liters, so we wouldn't be able to do anything meaningful there. We would spend more in our fees, but we're getting closer. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. Coffee, no. Corn, no. Hemp. Uh, nope. Okay, let's see here. No. Okay. Mongolia is not showing us much love right now. However, we can, um, with a little bit of patience, we could make this work. So let's try going back to Ulan. Now, somebody does have some elm for sale here, and that's got to be a player who has harvested some elm trees. Now, $600. I want to see what the local average is. difference there but it's only 970 units so probably not worth our time as much as that would be a decent deal
Let's take a look at soybeans. So current price is fourteen sixty nine in the city. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to check the other cities and see what they are. See if there's a significant difference. Uh, we can pick up eight thousand units at fifteen hundred, which is pretty darn pricey. Um, but maybe somewhere else we can get it cheaper and come sell it here. There we go. Look at that. $900. And look at what we can pick up here. We could pick up about 10,600 units. Make $600 a unit on 10 units. Uh, so that's a $6,000 minus our shipping expense. Um, so I think we're going to do that. Buy a warehouse there. We're going to buy up all the soy. Since we're going to be here a little while, let's also put in a buy order and see if we can pick any up. I feel like that wouldn't be a terrible idea, uh, given how low the price is, because we're going to offer a thousand a unit and just see what we can pick up. So what we're saying is we're going to pay up to $985.76. We want to buy 25,000 liters, and we'll take as little as one liter. We can't be picky. Um, and we're just going to set that for 30 days, and we're going to see if any NPCs or players sell to that order. Um, and hopefully we can check back in in a couple of days, and we'll have some soybeans in our warehouse. And uh, we can continue to feed those out to other locations. Okay, so we've placed that order. You can see we're now down to 63000 so we're getting close to that $50,000 mark. Um, we're going to spend a little bit of money to get this on route to... Uh, let's, uh, let's bring up the main page and see where uh, the best price is for uh, soybeans for Mongolia. Okay, it looks like far and away, uh, Erdinet is the best place. So what we need to do is we need to go here. We need to um, create warehouse space. Now we have a place to ship to. So from our Olgi warehouse, we're going to send to Erdinet. We're going to send soybeans, all of them. And we're not in a rush. Uh, it should only take like four hours or six hours anyways. Um, and we're not in a rush. Uh, so we don't want to do a rush delivery and, and cost more money. We want to keep as much profit as we can. So we're going to ship this out. And there is our shipment in route expected to be delivered uh, at 1.30 this afternoon. Uh, is currently. So yeah, about four hours. Okay. With that said, I think that takes care of our uh, out-of-game stuff. We're sitting at 12,500 in the web. We have 63,000 in the meta. 
Uh, and you know what? You know what? We got twelve thousand dollars. Let's go to the player market and just just see if there's any super good deals there. Why not, right? You never know. Now, see, this is not necessarily a bad deal. 5000 bucks for a lease voucher. Because remember, we spent about $8,000 on a lease on that cedar. So it might be a good thing to look into in the future if we need one. We're hunting, hunting, hunting. Looking, looking, looking. As you can see, lots of items on the player market. You gotta hunt for good deals. I just want to see what collectibles are out there. I think that's one of the fun little side things is having collectibles for your profile. So it might be fun to collect some of these if there's any super cheap ones out. Well, perhaps later we will shop for collectibles. I suppose it's not too prudent right now with our limited budget. Um, we can take a peek at the auction house. Not that we can afford anything, but hey. Don't see anything that tickles our fancy right now on auction. So uh, I think that is going to wrap up our um, out of game portion for this episode. We're going to go ahead and transition over and uh, take a look at the farm, see if what needs to be done there today. Um, I think we have some seed to put away. Um, I did pick up uh, off episode. I did pick up a couple of um, trailers for hauling our crop, um, but maybe today we can look at... Um, a weeder maybe and maybe it's time to weed i don't know we'll have to look and see um and then we can discuss um harvest options so we will pop over and do that now okay guys we are back in game just stepping out of our house here on our lovely little farmstead look at that beautiful view i i really like this map you know and it's just got so many good memories on it for me uh, from a year and a half ago and I'm so glad to be back on it uh, and back in game um, so as you can see we picked up a couple of those uh, HW uh, trailers um, 
and we offloaded the seed out of the least cedar because we needed to return that. Um, so we need to get that uh, these pallets taken care of because you should not leave these out for more than 24 hours, and I'm getting darn close to that mark. Um, so we want to get this turned into loose stuff, which I'll dump it into the trailer, and then we'll dump the trailer um, uh, out, and then we'll probably store the loose seed in the barn for this year since we's a little bit poor. Uh, and I, I just, I looked at the pallet racks, which are a valid option. I just didn't like how big they were. Uh, it just felt too industrial for me, uh, for my, my farm and the size of my farm and our organic plans and all that. So, um, you know, we do have a fair chunk of grass, like a fair sized yard. And I don't know what that equates to as far as actual grass for feed. But it is a curious thing, because I'm kind of tempted to try sheep or goats. But I just, I don't know if we'd have enough grass right now to sustain them. And I would hate to have to buy more. Yeah, thoughts for another day. It's already autumn. I don't think it's going to happen before winter. So, um, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to get in and we're going to unhook the trailer. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Unhook that one. Uh, we're gonna unhook this one for now too. Okay, hop in. Turn off the radio so you guys can hear me. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna cut that down just a little bit. I don't want to drown you guys out. Yeah, it's probably better. Okay, so let's get the front loader on here. And we need to give this thing a wash. I Bad me, I did not wash it when I parked it last time. So we're going to have to get that done too. Oh, well, you know what? While we're on too, I'm going to pull out the tablet here in the tractor and see about... See if there's any land uh, for sale. Because who knows? Maybe that's what I should be thinking about investing in, right? I mean, more land is always a good thing. Um, so we'll have to see if there might be anything available or coming available in that regard. Or maybe a broker might have some land that they could lease. Always a possibility, so you never know. Oh, goodness. Um, I didn't fully think this through, guys. <laughs> it would be a little hard to lift a pallet with a uh, bucket. So, change of plans. We're going to be taking another trip down to the store. Uh, we're going to drop this bucket. Drop this bucket off. Oh, do I do it from in here on these? Yep, okay. I forgot that's one we don't have to manually detach. detach. Okay, so we're going to head down to the store, and I guess while we're doing that, we can um, do some brief thinking about uh, what else we might like to do. Um, okay, so... Rolling out. Um, so... What else do we need to do? Oh, we were going to head down there for a weeder already, so... Okay, uh, looks like the field is... Uh, it is germinated, uh, so that's a good sign. Uh, we're going to want to um, pick up a seasons tool to give us a little more information on uh, moisture and things like that. But it is germinated. It doesn't look like we have weed yet, so I'm going to take a stab and say we probably won't need the weeder till spring. So while we're down there, we will do some thinking on if there's anything else we might need prior to winter or during winter. Um, and my mind is kind of going to, do we want to pick up a plow? Maybe even a plow truck. Kind of expensive, but, you know, being the nice new neighbor on the block um, might not be a bad thing. You know, good, good neighbor relations is always a good thing to have. Um, and helping out some other farmers if they need uh, a cell point uh, cleaned out or something. Now, technically, the American issue those, but um, 
Ooh, watch out, gotta pay attention. Um, the mayor can issue those, but since we currently have no mayor on this map, um, it's not going to be issued. So maybe I could take the chance to step up for the community there again, um, do a little civic duty. Uh, so we might look at a plow truck. Um, and uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what else we'd need before winter hits. I mean, there's lots of stuff I'd like to have, but there's really nothing that we need that would be prudent for us right now. Um, so once we're at the store, I'm going to shut the engine off, uh, and I'm going to pull out the tablet, look and see if there's any auctions coming up or currently available, as well as the broker land. And then, uh, based on that information, we'll make our next decisions um, on what we're going to do. And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky uh, and there'll be a, a decent auction on uh, a good piece of equipment uh, sometime soon. Which reminds me, I need to register my equipment on the website as well. So, um, we will, uh, you know what, we'll, we'll make that in the uh, next episode. We'll register our equipment. And I also realized I forgot to accept the commodity broker um, thing. So we will accept that next time as well so you can see that in that process. Um, and uh, that way we'll get that deal secured for our oats so we know those have a good home as soon as they get harvested. Uh, we don't have to worry about storing them or waiting for a peak pricing in game. Uh, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll also show you the land auctions if anything comes up. In fact, if something does come up today, I'll show you. But, uh, but maybe we'll also get lucky. I'll keep, I'll keep uh, checking every day on the equipment auctions. Maybe a cheap harvester will come up too. Beggars can't be choosers, and an auction could be a great opportunity to pick something up. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes peeled, maybe even on through the dealers a little bit for some smaller ones. Oh, another beautiful day here. It's cooled off a little. Uh, I think it was 86 last time we were on together. Uh, now down to 73. Fall has arrived. Aha, I can see the shop in the distance. Oh my gosh! There's a deer out there, guys! No way! That was cool! I... That's new! What the... How, how does that work if you've got to plow that field? Does it move? That's so cool, guys! Oh! It's the little things. It really is the little things. I'm telling you. Oh, like jumping out of your tractor at a stop sign. Okay. Okay. Now, if my lovely editor manages to find... Um, some nice uh, elevator hold tunes. That would be great. You know what? Actually, we could definitely put on the in-game tunes. So I'm going to give you in-game tunes for a second here while I pull out the tablet and I do that quick check of land auctions. So bear with me.
So there are a couple properties available to lease here. Um, between the two properties, it's about 90 acres, which I think is probably a bit more than we want to handle. However, there is one that has a 32 acre field. Um, it may be a nice addition. So if we can, I'm going to, I'm going to reach out to both of these brokers. Uh, it's two different real estate uh, agents. I'm going to reach out to both of them, um, see what kind of deal they'll offer me. Um, and then, uh, maybe proceed with one. Who knows? Maybe two. Uh, it seems a little bold to go for both. Um, but oh man, that extra acreage would be nice if I can get the right deal on the land. Um, obviously we'll have to do a lot of math on what our profits could be, but that is interesting. Uh, so I'm going to turn back on the radio for one more second. I didn't get a chance to check the auctions yet, but I wanted to tell you guys that. Um, so that's a good find. So uh, that's one thing I'll have to do uh, during our downtime between videos is get with those two real estate agents. Um, and so now I'm going to check the auctions real quick and I'll be right back with you. It does look like those um, leases may be a great option for us. Um, so, uh, though in the short term, we definitely are going to need bale spot or er, pallet forks. I cannot talk today. So pallet forks. Um, front loaders. Is it under? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And you know we'll spend a little extra money for the white just to match things. All right. Now, how are we looking financially? What did we have to pay on our loan? Um, okay, so about 1300 yesterday on our current loan of 160000 Okay, um, so that still leaves us with 400, 340, 340,000 to work with right now. Um, goodness gracious, do we want to get into a plow truck? It's a dangerous proposition. It would be handy. That's all I'm saying. Decisions, decisions, guys. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. It is tempting, guys. I just don't know. I just don't know if I want to invest that much money. It's a tough call. We could we could swing it, but is it the right move? It's just a tough call. Other things we need to think about is what are we doing after soybeans next year? Where are, we, where are we going with this? And I think a lot of that is going to lie in do we get that extra acreage. Um, and so maybe, just maybe, we we start thinking about, I think pigs might be a, a I, th I think pigs might be where we start. Um, they reproduce relatively quick. Um, we would just need to make sure that we have what they need. Um, but if we picked up that extra land, we could definitely do that. Um, and then just keep enough product to feed our pigs for maybe a year and a half and sell the remainder um, and then hopefully live off of that remainder um, while the pigs start getting grown up. Um, I kind of am liking that idea. I, I think pigs might be our first animal. <laughs> Reindeer Ranch of the Pigs may be, might be our first journey. Um, so that, that may be what we're thinking, which if I do that means I really need to save my buckaroonies, um, 
as much as possible. Um, but you know, having the truck uh, to be able to pull things to market and things like that, um, I, I think we're going to get the truck. Um, uh, my financial frugal mind says it's not prudent, but uh, we're going to we're going to live a little. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna live a little, <laughs> and hope for the best, right? Um, so let's do that. Um, we're gonna pick up. I don't know if I want to go with the Reaper or the Raptor. I guess they both look kind of the same. Not a lot of difference there. I like the uh, the toe hooks on this one so we're gonna go with the reaper just because of that no no other reason really oh you know i kind of like the you know what? i do like the fender on the raptor better though so let's go with the raptor um yeah i like that fender better these uh side fenders here right there um so i mean we have a white tractor so we could just stick with the white theme and save money we are the red farm though so red it could be nice that could be nice although the truck doesn't you know it's a truck it doesn't have to match the farm color right <clears throat> gray is interesting metallic orange now that's an interesting color <clears throat> very halloween-esque um, you know, I think there's a lot of options here. Almost too many options uh, for my brain. Ooh, that green is. Mmm. Mmm, no. Um, <clears throat> Quicksilver. Oh, that's kind of a nice touch. Oh, charcoal. I think I like charcoal. Yeah. Charcoal with the black rims? Or... What are these? Chrome? What about carbon black? Okay. Okay. We, I, don't, I don't know if we can afford to get too fancy. Uh, light bars. 400. What does this other bumper look like? That's kind of nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. No, we don't need that. No, 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 no. Boink. That's kind of fun to watch, isn't it? It's like bounce. No, uh, we, we don't. Uh, I don't need to lift my truck, though. No, if it was like a one or, you know, three-inch lift, maybe. But that that's like a six-inch lift. No thanks. Um, we're just going to keep that the same. What about the tow mirrors? Yeah. Tow mirrors would be nice. 200 bucks. Light ring color. What? What is... I don't... Hmm. I'm not sure about that. What, what is the default? white i don't know i don't know what I, I don't even know what we're getting into there so we're not gonna mess with that any more than we already have all right let's do it let's just do it before i change my mind okay it's done um and then we're just gonna get a standard bed in it for now and that needs to be charcoal right yeah okay and we'll leave the steel as steel on there um white vendors no i don't think we need that um Sure, okay. Um, drop that in. And we are going to want a plow. Right? Okay. Okay, boom. We've now spent way too much money, but we have a nice pickup truck. Okay. Um, I've never actually used this before. It's kind of an interesting um, setup that NMC has done, and I actually really like it. It's pretty cool. Hmm. 
Okay. is a nice low sitting back bed but I like it because it looks like it's designed to hold pallets in there nice and easy so that's pretty cool okay we can, we can work with this all right So it raises and lowers. Is there a... Hmm. I'm going to have to talk to... I'm going to have to consult some other farmers and see if there's a... Uh... Oh, uh... uh... Left and right, an angle on it. It looks like... There should be, right? Yeah. See these hydraulics? This should be for a left and right, so... I feel like I'm just missing something here. Um, oh wait, hold on. No, I don't... I don't know. Hopefully... Hopefully we can get that figured out. Um, I guess we'll, we'll put this back over um, to the farm. <clears throat> because I don't have anything to bring home with it right now. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll take this home to the farm real quick. And um, then we will uh, go from there. Okay, I can see our field. We are arriving. And I'm... Man, I am just so... There, my mind is in so many places, guys. There's so much I want to do. And, uh... So much to do. And... Really, just all the time in the world to do it but none of it possible without that eight old adage of money. So until we've got that money, we're just gonna bide our time, work our little farm. You know, hindsight being 2020, I probably could have spent the money uh, to pick up a another pallet of saplings. Um, but like I said before, it feels like we really don't have a lot of space right now. So maybe that's just, you know, maybe that's just a wait for another day. Ooh, it's got some good hydraulics on it. Holy cow. Okay. And there we have it, a truck. And let's get the pallet. Oh, you know what? I could still grab the saplings. Do we want to plant another 20 saplings? And if so, where would we plant them? Um... You know, we could use the front of the field. Now, I'm hoping... See, our animal plans rest in do we have enough room in the yard, right? I think we do. I think there's enough room here for a, a, a decent animal pen. I think. Might be a little tight, but we're going to have to make it work. Um, so, yeah. Um... Okay, so with that in mind, we don't want to do any trees there. We could do trees along the edge of the drive. I know we said we didn't want to do that, but how long is it going to be before we want to spend the money on placeable trees along the drive? It might be a while, right? So what if we plant... Oh gosh, I don't... Oh, you know what? We have a handy-dandy measuring tool, guys. Um, let me 
Alt, right click. So 20 trees at 10 meters a piece would be 200 meters. So let's see how how many trees we could plant on one side of the drive. So we could do 15 trees on each side of the drive. That'd be 30. Then we need to find a home for 10 more. Do, 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 do. Um, which we could run along the edge of the drive here, right? Uh, we need 100 meters, roughly. We could do it. I think that's the plan, guys. Two pallets of trees. I don't... I think I can fit both of them on one set of pallet forks. And we'll plant those. In five years, we'll cut down all these 60 trees that we planted. Have one big hurrah um, of uh, winter cutting. And um, we'll use that funding to maybe... Um, who knows? Who knows what it'll be used for? But I'm sure we'll have some need of it. Because um, I don't plan on them being there permanently. I would like to put in some other deciduous trees um so well, for today that's our plan let's do it we're gonna pop back over to our tractor uh we're gonna get in and purchase actually yep okay we got money in the bank so to speak we need pallets saplings one two Okay. So we need to be on this side. And yes, we should be able to get both of those pallets on here. No problemo. There we go, boys and girls, coming home with 40 trees to plant on the farm. Okay, so we've done our long-term investment plan. We've prepped uh, for winter. I don't think we're going to have the growth of weeds before spring, so we're going to hold off on that weeder till spring, save us on those additional loan costs. Um, we're going to talk to the real estate agents about that stuff. So we have a lot to do, uh, a lot of administrative paperwork type stuff to do for the farm uh, as we prepare for things. And, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully next year's harvest goes good, goes smooth. We don't get rained out. Uh, we'll get some money in the bank. Uh, so all this investing will start to pay off. Um, and in five years, these little fellas are going to um, definitely pay off for us. Oh, there's that deer. Yeah, I really am going to have to figure out. Really, I'm going to have to look into that deer situation. I'm not sure what that's about. 
definitely was not there before, from what I recall. Guys, I'm, I'm feeling so good. We like, this is exciting times. So much going on here. Oh, and um, another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, last night, uh-oh. Pallet playing hooky. There, get back on there, you. Don't you fall off. <laughs> okay. We've kept, oh no, there he goes. Oh no. Ah. Tragedy has struck. Okay, guys, <laughs> crisis averted. Thankfully, no traffic, no pedestrians were harmed, no wildlife was injured. Uh, we are back on the road uh, with both pallets after some minor adjustments there. Goodness gracious. So what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by pallet jumpers um, was that... Um, the other thing I had done, because um, if you noticed, I had 12,500 web bucks, was I managed to find time to do three contracts uh, last night for the farm. Um, and so I did a customs export. Uh, I did a little bit of fertilizing on two fields. And then I did some plowing. Um, so it was two different maps. Um, met a few different people. It was very nice. Had a good time. And... Uh, made a little bit of cash right um i don't my my ultimate goal for our farm is to be completely self-sustaining which means i don't want to bring in money from the outside to support the farm if i absolutely have to because we're going to go bankrupt that is something i will do but short of like going defunct i don't want to bring in money for the farm i want it to be self-sustaining i really think that that should be the goal for that, that should be the goal for any farmer um, in FSN is to have your farm sustain itself. And in fact, any business you run in FSN, uh, whether that's an in-game farm, a meta trucking company, ooh, watch out there, um, whatever it is, uh, it should be self-sustaining. It should sustain itself. That should be the goal you should perform. So uh, we're definitely not going to bring in any money unless we absolutely have to for operations here. Okay, we're just going to set the pallets here because we're going to load them in the uh, planter here in a minute. Uh, first, we're going to dump these seeds into the trailer. Just 
take our hazards off now. We made it off the public roadway. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, hook up this trailer and then quick dump this. Because uh, the whole goal was to get it loose uh, so that we can put it in the barn. So I'm just going to do this, do this. Go forward here. Unload it. There we go. Beauty. And uh, we're going to just pull these around the side of the barn, I think. Um, for the season. Somewhere over in here. I don't know if that's, I don't know if this is, eh, yeah. something like that is about what I was hoping for, I'm not going to keep it straight. The trick is with these front axles, especially if it's so touchy in the game, just don't want to overcompensate too much, you just want to be gentle, gentle. something like that is about what I was hoping for. We'll go with that. Yeah, that'll work. Out of the way. Hitch is out and accessible. I'll try to pull the other one in alongside that somewhere. Okay. I think we're going to run a little over our hour-ish mark for this episode, but a couple extra minutes isn't going to kill anybody, so we'll, uh, we'll just keep plugging away here. Finish up what we wanted to finish up for this day. Get pulled in real close here like this. And we'll swing out, just barely missing this guy. Yeah, there we go. That, I think, is just what we wanted. The hoses, there we go. Beauty. There we go. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't know if we need this hooked up to put the cover on or not, but I think you might, so just to be safe. Don't need snow in it for the winter. <laughs> there we go, before I forget that. Okay, now... We can take these pallet forks off, we can get the bucket back on, get the seed put in the barn, get the cedar hooked up, plant these trees, and call it a day. Let's get in here and get this done.
scoopy, 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 scoop. Life of a little farm, guys. Life of a little farm. And we're just going to plop this seed. Honestly, right by this door. Um, well, I may store the tractor inside. So, maybe not right by the door. Let's put it over in this corner. This back left corner. Or back right, I guess, depending on how you're looking at it. Right here. We don't want it too close to the edge because we don't want it to spill out. <clears throat> and unfortunately... Build types aren't the best at staying inside the structures that they're in, so I'll just put it out right here. Gotta look good. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably go a hair forward on the next dump. That'll work though. getting there, we're getting there. I don't know, one more, this scoop might do it. I think we had like 27, 2800 left. That's it. Okay, so 9.30 and 9.30, or 9.40, 9.40 is uh, 1880. Plus 400 is 2280. So 2350 is how much seed we've got. So let's keep that keep that in mind. Get too close to my door there. So 2350. I need to update my chart too. I didn't actually get to my chart, and I need to do that today. that note as soon as I get out of here, 2350, don't forget that number, uh, it's 2350, okay, um, good to take this off now, get the planter on, Here we go. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, so, we figured we could get about 15 per. I want to plant these kind of close to the road. Give us a little gap on the edge of the field. Something like this, I think. That'll, I think that'll do. Okay. Alright. And let's make sure we're set to 10 meters still. We are. Okay. Uh, and we're going to turn her on. And we're going to start planting. There we go. See if my 15 estimation was about on point. Did 
Looking like it's gonna be. Yep. That is right. That's 15. There's five left there. And I think, I think for the sake of spacing and making sure I don't mess up, I'm gonna put this partial pallet out by the house and then um, run the other full pallet down the other side just for the sake to make sure that they're spaced good enough. So we're gonna run this one, I think honestly, right here. That's what we're gonna do. Alright. We're gonna drop it down. Fire it up. And start playing. Oh, <clears throat> we shall have a tree filled yard for a couple of years. But, you know, it'll be tasteful, right? We're not just planting them everywhere. We're kind of making nice hedgerow, if you will. Okay. There's that one. Now we've got these to finish us off. And I'm going to start down at the other end of the driveway. I just don't want to, you know, it's one of my OCDs, I guess. Uh, I want to make sure that we, we have trees at the end of the driveway, going all the way down it. So I'd rather have a couple missing up towards the house than at the end. So take down the road, turn it right around. Don't kill our mailbox. Good. Okay. And we'll plop these in here. Good trees make good neighbors, right? Okay. So we'll just uh Ooh, I didn't. I didn't think about this. I think it's got to be 10 by 10. Ooh. Okay, so we need to stagger, because if we stagger and place them here, that should give us 10, I think. So we'll stagger. I think about there, I'm staggering. It's not going to be perfect, but we're going to try it. Hopefully this won't be a failure that ends up costing me money instead of making me money. But you live and learn, right? Hopefully the stagger offset will um, make this fall about right for distance between them. We'll see. We're planting them regardless. in over here, which hopefully this is far enough to start the first one, like that maybe? We're going to try it. Okay, drop her down, turn it on, start driving. Ooh, I didn't notice the trees are right there already, oh my goodness, this, we might have some problems with these last ones, guys. Turn it off. We got two, two left to plant, and I feel like we're getting awful close there. So, we'll plant these right here. Oh no, I got some. Ooh, I'm running out of space for trees. Mm. Well, 
Oh, you know what? I didn't get any on this edge of the field. We have room here. I'm creating hassles for myself in the future with equipment for sure, but they'll be gone in five years. Let's justify it that way. We're just gonna we're just gonna justify it. We're just gonna plop them in the ground and call it a day. hope that I don't have to pull these out for five years so that they were a waste. Okay, that is it, guys. I'm going to quick pop over. We're going to get this thing power washed, put away, and we're going to call it a day. It's a good day on the farm. I think we've uh, prepped all we can prep uh, for the coming winter. Um, my truck was hiding the power washer. I was like, where did our power washer go? Okay, so... Um, to recap, I'm going to get with the um, real estate brokers about potential leases uh, starting, you know, next year, hopefully. Um, we've now got 60 uh, trees planted, which is great. Um, maybe not so great for our working space around fields for a couple of years, but, um, you know, like I said, we gotta we got to work with what we've got. And we're, right now we had a little bit of yard. And I think the trees made more sense than trying to feed animals with that grass right now. So, um, you know, eventually we'll have a very nice farmyard. We won't have to have trees in our yard. We'll have a nice tree plot for trees. But for now, we've got a few trees. Uh, I'm going to get with the real estate brokers about that. I'm going to next video uh, show you the commodity broker process as well as the real estate agreement if we do end up making one. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to have the money up front for it, so we might have to wait to make the deal until after I get the harvest income in. So we're going to have to see on that one. Not positive yet, um, but we'll figure it out. So, okay, guys, and I think that is going to wrap things up here on Reindeer Ranch. I think this is episode three now. Um, we have our oats planted. We have 60 trees in the ground. We're going to be looking into some deals. Oh, I missed a spot with... The, oh, guys. Mistakes were made. I forgot to come back and do my edge run. Oh, that's going to eat into profits. Rookie mistakes, guys. Rookie mistakes that are going to cost us. Okay, moving past it. It's done. We can do nothing about it now. So, we have... Um, saplings in the ground it's about 60 of them which should yield us some nice um income in a winter uh a few years from now we'll get them cut out of our yard and hopefully use that money to maybe spruce up the farm a bit um and hopefully by then we might have an area to put some trees because i wouldn't mind doing a little winter logging on and off so not a ton just a little bit we don't want to you know put a burden on the server but you know 20 trees a winter or something like that just some little small amount give us a little bit of variety and uh yeah we're we're sitting good guys we're sitting as good as we can be given the circumstances and my rookie status so uh we will check in with you soon uh it might be a couple of days in game i'm thinking thinking we might check in like winter one see how things are going i'll give you guys an update on what's been going on with our two semis that we own in logistics um maybe see if we've gotten that deal secured with the commodity broker and if we've been in talks with the real estate brokers and we'll see how winter is shaping up here on the farm uh winter one so i uh, expect to check in in a couple of days regarding that so have a good afternoon evening day whatever time it is for you guys as always thanks for watching please do like subscribe leave a comment below let us know what you think about the farm what you'd like to see come in the future if you're already in fsn thank you for being part of the family i love you hooligans if you're not yet part of the family check the link below come join us at farm simulator network with almost 11,000 other farmers out here having fun every day from all around the globe take care guys have a great day see you later